Welcome to Choose Your Grooves, the inside-out news broadcast for visionaries, hungry to weave a kinder world. We cultivate powerful thought habits, crafting the images and feelings of the world our hearts know is possible. Choosing our grooves and creating our news, we see it as a reality now. We feel it as a reality now. And we broadcast these good vibrations from the inside out. Thank you for your passion and your focus. You are a powerful force. And together we are a powerful team. Our time has come. Let's practice together and make this movement move. Welcome to the introductory episode of Choose Your Grooves, the why, the what, the how, and a bit about me. So the name Choose Your Grooves refers to the grooves that are literally, physically created in our brains as we learn something new or develop a thought that turns into a belief, a thought habit. The more that we think this particular thought, the deeper the groove becomes. Literally, physical groove in our brain. The brain is made of a malleable substance. And new grooves can always be created. And the old ones can be covered over and disused, a bit like um, an unused track in the forest. So it's become a cultural norm, almost an obligation of responsibility to listen to the news, the worldwide news. And this is often a very disillusioning, ah, there's a deer, experience um, that can fill us with fear anger, disappointment, shock, horror, grief. And as we are repeatedly fed this sort of information and repeatedly think these sort of things, we start to create grooves in our mind that lead us to the habitual way of being, of feeling disempowered in our world. And Choose Your Grooves is about choosing a new way. It's about deliberately choosing the thoughts and the images of the world that we know is possible and habitually moving down those channels, filling ourselves with empowerment, inspiration, being uplifted, and empowered. If we have no vision, we have nowhere to aim for. But when we create a vision, we have a direction to go. We have a reason to go there. We have the courage and the ability and the persistence to keep going. And to develop these new grooves in our minds, we need to practice. And the more we practice, the quicker and the deeper they will develop within us. And so that is what this Inside Out News Broadcast is for. We create the news within and we broadcast it vibrationally out into the web of the consciousness that connects us all. And we can use the thoughts and the feelings and the images that are created by the existing news channels as a way to motivate us, to fire us up, and to show us what it is we really want. We can use these things as a resource, as a tool, and find the way that most fills our hearts with joy. 
And as we practice, we'll create these new grooves in our minds. So now a little bit about me. My name is Mary Jane. When I was 18, I went and lived in the woods. I built a shelter out of branches and a lorry tarpaulin. And I lived on the earth. I cooked with a fire, intimate with the weather, <laughs> with all the creatures. And I recognized my vibrant connection with nature. Our vibrant connection with nature. And ever since then, I've lived simply, as simply as possible whenever I can. Uh, for the last 11 years I've lived in a tent in a field, home educating my two children in France. And living this close to nature, I've studied the patterns. And I've seen how the patterns of nature I like the nature of the patterns of the mind. For example, the enormous abundance of seed that is produced by a tree, far, far, far more than will ever grow, or than is really, really necessary, shooting up everywhere. It's like the abundance of thoughts in our minds, continuously, constantly created in the same patterns, round and round. And when we want to create a beautiful garden, we want to plant the plants that nurture us, that we really want. We want to plant the thoughts in our minds that nurture us, the thoughts that lead us to the feelings that we want to experience in life. And so that can mean weeding out these random trees that have suddenly shot up in the middle of the garden and planting herbs, for example. Or it can mean weeding out thoughts of fear or resentment and planting ones of trust and expectant hope. So I'm sitting here in the woods, surrounded by birds. The bird song vibration is part of what I want to share with you. Let them remind us and reconnect us to the natural song of our hearts, the song of the earth, the song of our connection to each other and all life. May their song awaken in us the images and feelings of the world that our hearts yearn for and enable us to connect to that now. Choose Your Grooves is a daily practice, five days a week. And we will focus on different world themes and train our minds to create the version of these themes that we most prefer. No matter the outside circumstances, we take this time to create within our imagination that which we want to see and send it out into the universe. Sometimes there'll be one theme for the whole week and sometimes there'll be a different theme every day. It depends a bit what's going on in the world and how we can connect to that and use that as a resource to create the world that we want to see. Tomorrow's theme will be more than peace. Finding the resources within us of a world that is more than peaceful. So thank you for your vibrational broadcast. Already, our deliberate focus is creating ripples into the web of consciousness that connects us all. And as we practice together, growing clearer and stronger, these ripples turn to waves, and we have a real effect 
in the world. If you are as excited about this as I am, please share it with your friends. The more of us who focus, the more powerful we are as we create together this kinder world, the world our hearts know is possible. Subscribe to the podcast. Please rate and review it. Thank you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Until then, onwards and upwards.